The Canadian mining industry is well known for its high standards of sustainability and ethical practices, and when combined with a stable political landscape, it's no surprise that Canada is one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world. Canada also has a diverse set of minerals and therefore there are many types of mines you can work at in Canada. And here are 8 examples of these mines. The first one is Copper Mountain. The Copper Mountain mine is a conventional open pit truck and shovel operation located just 20 kilometers south of Princeton, British Columbia. It is a copper gold porphyry deposit that has an expected mine life of 31 years. Copper Mountain is proud of its commitment to achieve Mining Association of Canada's Towards Sustainable Mining Standard, including having the AA Tailings Management Rating in early 2020, which is the second highest level rating a mining company can get. In another part of the BC province, we have Tex Fording River Coal Mine, which is located 29 kilometers northeast of the Elkford community. The coal mine here is used to produce metallurgical coal, which is an essential ingredient in steel production. The mine life is expected to last for another 43 years based on proven and probable reserves. One exciting innovation being implemented here is the usage of machine learning for predictive maintenance, where data is being used to predict equipment failures before they happen using machine learning algorithms. Over in the next province of Alberta lies Suncor's Millennium Oil Sands Mine. Millennium is one of the largest open pit oil sands mine in the region, producing 330,000 barrels of bitumen per day and is upgraded before being distributed through the 1,850 Petro Canada stations across Canada. The Millennium Mine is the first mine in Canada to deploy the autonomous haul trucks which will help improve safety performance, improve operating efficiency, and lower operating costs. Jumping over into the next province in Saskatchewan is Nutrients Cory Underground Potash Mine. Potash is an important commodity used in fertilizers, animal feed, and various industrial applications such as soaps, de-icers, and more. Because potash is considered a soft commodity, as in it is physically softer than say the host rock of underground gold mines, the quarry mine uses continuous mining machines to excavate the potash and then transfers it up to the surface using conveyor belts. Also in Saskatchewan is the world's highest grade uranium mine, which is Chemicals Cigar Lake. As you may have guessed, the uranium mine is used to power nuclear reactors around the world to generate carbon-free electricity. The Cigar Lakes ore deposit is a challenging one to mine and requires a unique mining method called jet boring, which requires freezing the ore and the host rock to negative 40 degrees Celsius before a set of drill holes and high pressure water jets is used to bore through the ore body while the loose ore is collected underneath. In the province of Ontario lies Newmont Gold Corp's Muscle White Underground Gold Mine, and it is a fly-in, fly-out operation located roughly 500 kilometers north of the city of Thunder Bay. The mining methods used in this operation includes both overhand and underhand cut and fill, as well as long hole stoping. Next is the Moss Pit. The Moss Pit is an extension of the current Iron Ore Canada's operations in Labrador City, in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, and is expected to extend the mine life to 50 years. Not much is known about this mining operation publicly, other than the announcement of the opening in 2018. The Iron Ore products is shipped to various customers around the world in the US, Middle East, Europe, and Asia. Lastly, heading up north is the, the Divig Diamond Mine located 305 kilometers northeast of Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. It is both an open pit and underground mine, but it faces some of the most challenging mining conditions due to the cold northern climates and the surrounding water. 
This diamond mine also boasts a hybrid wind diesel power facilities, which offsets Divix diesel used by over 26 million liters and reduced the overall greenhouse gas emissions by 73,000 tons since 2012. So there you have it, 8 mines that you can work at in Canada. Of course, there are many, many other more mines that you can work at in Canada, but I chose these 8 mines because each of them focus on different commodities and there's a unique innovation being used as those mine sites. Which country do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.